So uh, we're still working on the lister. I'm currently a bit bored of um, painting and sanding, and it's been raining out there. So I uh, thought we'd have a little little break and do something uh, mildly interesting. Look, we got um, <laughs> all our filters are knackered. This is the the only only sort of oil filter there is the pickup screen, I suppose, for the oil pump, um, and that's just rotted out down at the bottom there. This isn't really the filter, but this is the. Um, cage that holds the fuel filter which is a sort of weird looking snake thing this is the air filter this is actually felt um, but it's shrunk so it's no longer covering all the uh, all the holes in the um, in the perforated metal cylinder onto which it slips the fun bit is going to be uh, making a uh, a new screen for the oil yeah I've attempted similar things before Never with a, a lot of success, but I didn't have a spot welder before, and uh, you know, so I figured we could do a bit of experimenting. So, first thing we're going to do is throw this in the ultrasonic bath and get it cleaning, and then we can uh, have a little play. I do have a load of um, load of mesh, we've got a nice big roll there, so we'll just uh, have a little fart around and see if we can um, make some sense out of joining mesh together. Okay, so I figured, um, you know, if we just uh, if we just weld two sheets together we're not going to get a uh, <clears throat> we're going to have gaps aren't we uh, unless we do a you know sort of continuous row of welds um, so I've, I've bent the edges over on these two bits of screen yeah we're not, uh, we're not trying to make the actual screen right now this is just uh, just to see if it will weld Nothing. Let's crank her up a bit. Yeah, that's done something. <laughs> that has definitely done something. All right. Okay, I'm getting reasonable results um, against the. Uh, Against the, the flat arm or the yeah, cylindrical arm of the electrode, which is something I was going to try anyway, because uh, it'll be easier for me to slide my uh, uh, thingy bob over that. But, um, yeah, this is this is good. Um, uh, I, got, I got it on a lower setting again and back on DC, uh, and just yeah, did 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 very close to each other, and it makes a nice. Uh, Makes a pretty nice tidy job of it, yeah. Uh, wondering if I can even do it in two two thicknesses. We'll try in a minute. Good enough, isn't it? Eh? Doesn't come apart. I mean, it, it does, but ooh, uh, the, the wire breaks rather than the weld. Pretty much couldn't have gone any better. I'm uh, quite pleased with that. That's a very useful, useful thing to be able to do. Um, we need to get an end cap in it. Uh, we're at risk of deforming it with uh, this stainless mesh. Sit that on there and see what happens. I want to cut this broom handle down. No, we're all right. Huh? <laughs> it's gonna work. Uh, we have uh, we have 
pulled a few fibers off. I think we can have another go and make that make this better. But there we go. I'm going to trim that up and uh, see if we can um, see if we can what <laughs> see if we can stick it at the end of my filter. Okay, I think this is a, a slightly more sensible setup. We've got a bit more solder in the pot, we've got a smaller bottom in the pot. Uh, so it should be a bit deeper. <laughs> much the same, much the same, all right. Okay, so I decided I wasn't happy with the uh, soldered um, <whistles> screen. Um, what have we done? Uh, I've been bugging around. Uh, brass actually welds, spot welds quite quite nicely to the uh, to the stainless mesh, so that's cool. And obviously you can then um, solder the brass to the really important bit that's gone astray right now. Um, yeah, this, this old chap here, that's the that's the fitting that goes into the engine with the um, screen on the inside of the crankcase. Uh, <clears throat> uh, couldn't get that accurate with the with the interlocking edges of the edges of the mesh. Probably could with a bit more practice, but um, you know I found ways of making it tighter, and that made it too tight. And I couldn't uh, couldn't sort of get get accurate with that. So I was having troubles, but the um, solution I've come up with is to just not worry about it <laughs> uh, what am I doing yeah no that's the wrong way isn't it um, and rather than rather than having I do need four thicknesses in order for the spot welder because that doesn't like doing it doing anything less than four but we've got <laughs> we've got dozens of these bits floating around there uh, another one okay not dozens just three I thought there was a fourth somewhere, probably was, somewhere. Anyway, so what we're doing is just, just getting her around this, just getting her around here. Can you see what I'm doing? Oh. Just getting her around a bit of pipe, mate. That's my sock forms. Now we're going to make a couple of brass rings. Oh, I didn't even get that on camera, did I? Oh, welded it up, no probs. Uh, we're going to make a couple of brass rings to go around either side, then spot weld them to the mesh, yeah? And then we can put a cap on one end and the other end can get soldered to the, to the fitting. Okay, so that's the finished article. Yeah, we've got a, uh, a solid plug at the end there, or well, not solid, but sheet metal plug. Um, but the important thing is the uh, the mesh has turned out beautifully, isn't it? Eh? Um, and again, it's it's I think much much better affixed to the uh, 
to the fitting than it would be if I had just carried on using uh, the tinned off stainless steel mesh because it really doesn't like taking solder. Cool. So that's one of three that we've got to make. Let's uh, let's do the fuel bowl next. Okay. So let's uh, let's go through what what the uh, situation with this fuel filter is. Um, I'll, uh, I'll reassemble it in original spec. Um, Oh, okay. So you've got a nice big cast iron fuel bowl here, um, mounted to the engine. Yeah, below the level of the tank. This is obviously a gravity feed system. Um, uh, where's fuel in? Fuel in at the front. Yeah, this goes into the body of the um, filter. You do have to get a nice good seal on this uh, on this top section, which might be quite tricky as there's been quite a lot of corrosion. Yeah, we pulled this out, and the uh, the rest of the filter, the, f the filtering really goes goes on here, and, and this is what more of a sediment trap and um, water separator. Yeah. Um, uh, so this cage, this cage doesn't really do any filtering. It just um, you know holds the filter. The filter in this case is a rather sorry looking bit of fabric wound around a, a spring, yeah, a great big long spring and that, that threads into the top. What it should look like, obviously the cage shouldn't be rotted through like that, this would probably still work, I mean, probably would work, but it'd just dump a load of crap into the uh, fuel bowl, wouldn't it? Filter, I, I did get a, a reproduction, I don't really like the reproduction, um, there's some quite big loose holes in it. It should be five foot long though, or there or thereabouts, 60 inches, five foot, I think. Look, um, and it's just, yeah, fabric braid around a, um, around a very light spring, yeah, uh, around, a, around a steel coil. And that's a woobly clip to the fitting up the top there. So what we're gonna make is a replacement cage, basically. Um, it's, yeah corrosion resistant steel which is always surprising to find on something this age um, I don't know if it was always corrosion resistant steel because these these fuel bowl bodies these cast iron fuel bowls are you know pre-war things um, I'm wondering whether they didn't originally have uh, you know brass or something like that um, but whatever this one's stainless so we'll remake it in stainless it won't be exactly the same I've got some uh, flat bar way too heavy but that won't matter and um, I've got some perf pipe, um, sort of thing you'd use for exhaust pipes and whatnot, um, which you know the remnants will get used for an exhaust pipe, so uh, uh, no problem buying a meter length here. Um, and what we'll do is um, cut ourselves a bit of pipe to length and then fold up our flat bar um, so we can push that inside and then spot weld it should be a easy job in theory in theory it should be easy and go quickly and be very smooth all right let's get this cut all right time to time to max out the spot welder hey um yes pippi So I tried spot welding this. Um, doesn't want to. I mean, it, what's peculiar is it. It, uh, 
it tacked these two bits of three mil together quite nicely, but it won't um, <laughs> it won't do this uh, perforated pipe to the th to one thickness of three mils. Uh, we'll have to just put a couple of TIG beads. Uh, right. Okay, so we've uh, just tigged up the, uh, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not tidy with TIG yet, I'm getting better, I'm getting a lot better, but um, what, <clears throat> okay, so we've got, um, I welded some, some pipe to these tops of the legs and then cut the pipe in half and smoothed it out a bit, we've only got two of them, I think, I think it's better with two, uh, because, because these, this basket is considerably thicker than the uh, the original. Uh, it's going to be hard flexing it over the top, so it can actually just slide on from the side. And then the fact that it's going into a uh, a bowl um, stops it from sliding back out again. Yeah, so this is just to hold it in place whilst we get the rope in. So which, you, which we could do right now. Yeah, uh, I might actually polish this little plate up first. If I can find out if I can remember what I did with it. Uh, stick that back on. It makes sense to do it now, wouldn't it? There we go. <laughs> there's, so there's five foot of that um, that rope coiled up inside there. Didn't look like it was all going to go in, but it did just about. Got the plate back on top. Ugh. And it all slots down in there. What a lovely fuel filter, eh? I don't know how good it is at fuel, I mean fuel but... Uh, what? <laughs> it's a nice chunky bit of iron, isn't it? Eh? Right, next, what's next? That's that done. Oil screen, fuel filter basket, air filter next, I guess, isn't it, eh? Okay, so this is the air filter. I've already um, sandblasted it and, uh, and painted it and uh, and what, and that's sat outside getting dirty. <laughs> uh, so, uh, what we've got, goes on first, and then our, Felt a screen goes around the outside, yeah. And really, this this felt screen needs to be taller than the bit of metal so that the felt seals when the whole lot's compressed. But it doesn't even it's shrunk, so it doesn't even cover all the holes up. Yeah. So we need to need to remake that. You could have a fram stick on that, couldn't you, eh? Look. How many thicknesses we got? Well, we weren't quite thick on that, didn't we? I mean, that is perhaps ever so slightly thicker than the original. Yeah, I think this is going to be perfect. Nice and quiet as well, I hope. Okay, there we have it. A Lister CS service kit. Yeah? Um, what? Air filter, piece of piss. Fuel cage, yeah, we'll only ever have to do that once, won't we? Hey? And same with the same with the oil screen. It's only a, it's a one-time job, isn't it? Unless unless that crankcase fills up with water again and it rots out. Um, but what? Uh, that's been quite quite interesting. Um, figuring out the spot welding of the mesh to itself and to the brass, which looks a bit coppery coloured there, but that's just because we. Uh, got it hot a few times isn't it um uh, yeah you know, that could come in come in handy for 101 other things couldn't it hey eh? um the old uh meshel mc meshel mc meshel face um effort or easy peasy 10 minute job wouldn't it um yeah that's good all right so uh anybody cares the arms <laughs> the arms doing great uh, i pulled the stitches out the other day um Still not, oh, I can wave it around and all, all, all that sort of shit. Um, you know, they, they, they went in there 
untangled everything because I think of a think of a fucking uh, <laughs> a bungee cord that, that lets go, isn't it? It's got whoosh, you know, either way, it's a go in there, untangle everything, and uh, sew a sew a bit of metal onto the, <laughs> onto the end of the fucking tendon. <laughs> then he went in there and uh, you know drilled a hole through the bone. Um, the bit of metal they call it a button. It's more like a toggle. Goes through the hole and then can't come back through once it's gone flat. And that's a, that's attached with a screw to stop it wandering around in it. So uh, yeah, everything's fine. It's, there's no pain or anything. Feels a bit weird, but um, I can't I can't extend it past. Uh, I think they said um, 50 degrees. Like as tendons, are, all their fibres are in the same way. So if you put a, if you start trying to sew to a tendon, like it can really easily slip through the tendons. So you've got to give it a good long while. So uh, and I yeah, definitely can't bear any weight on it yet. But it's uh, it's. It's a useful arm again, <laughs> which is great. Yeah, I can I can weld with it, and um, I was struggling painting the engine with the uh, with uh, 700 cc paint cup, so I was just using the little touch up cup. But paints paints come out okay anyway. Um, and oh, look. Uh, <laughs> Ben, cheers for cheers for the care package. Um, I really enjoyed this Welsh whiskey, uh, Penderyn, uh, and I, I've seen it before. I always get a little bit nervous about fancy bottles, um, and you know they spelt whiskey right. Yeah, uh, there we go. Well, we might as well, might as well finish it off on the <laughs> on camera. This is this is the Madeira finished. Yeah, and oh, I've seen this stuff before, um, but yeah, like I say, fancy bottle makes me nervous, and it's not from Scotland, which makes me nervous. Um, but I will definitely be buying it again. Um, Madeira, Madeira finish is a wee bit, a wee bit sweet. Mm. They do, uh, you know, oak finished and all the rest. I think there's three different, three different varieties. Uh, what I see, that is very, very, very nice of you, mate. Thank you. Yeah. Well, that's it. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed the uh, the video. Um, well, uh, the painting painting this engine has taken me a long while. I'm trying to do a nice job, and uh, and what um, I've got to paint the flywheels really before I run it up because um, they're gib pinned on. Like they're a bit of a chore to get on and off. So uh, and it's gonna you know they are quite heavy, and I really want to put it off the trailer before I start running it as well because otherwise we're relying on the jockey wheel. So. Um, I can do all that whilst I'm waiting for the flywheels to dry. Either way, it's going to be another another week or two before the engine is done. But next time you see that engine, it'll be uh, it'll be running. Um, maybe you'll get a foundry video next. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I got that in a position to try out the new <laughs> the new modifications before before I went in for surgery. I can't really remember now, but um, yep, that's that. Uh, hope you're all doing alright, enjoying this beautiful weather. Unless you're not somewhere that's got beautiful weather, in which case. My commiserations, but um, yeah, whatever. Take it easy, folks. See you later. Bye bye.